Hello everyone and welcome back to The Thinking Scrubs and we are at our episode 5. I'm your host Ron together with my uh, co-pilots Raymond. Hi everyone. And Ramon. Hello. Yes, we are triple R's. All R's. Wala si Ian. Where is Ian by the way? Um, I'm not sure. Lost in, <laughs> lost in Edsa? Maybe. Uh, it's a sea of Super human traffic, traffic nowadays. Yeah, especially because we have a millennial storm. Oh yeah, the, the millennial ring. millennial ring. falcon. <laughs> 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 All right, so we have a storm of an episode uh, tonight. So, uh, before but before we proceed to our main topic, any shout outs? We've just uh, recently uh, released. The finals of the season two of the league, no? so it's quite an exciting game. So congratulations again, uh, Ramon, for oh. winning the game. Thank you, but uh, congratulations, well deserved, is for Ellie and for taking the season two league. That's one, and also congratulations to Royce because uh, because um, he's been busy recently with his internship and it's great to see him again on the table it was a fun game with him during the extreme league finals yeah, to me you were all winners during uh, that finals game in fact you all won right and you all lost to each other so, but yeah. then, <laughs> so after the smoke has cleared it's still ellie yeah <laughs> so, kailangan na talaga si ellie. it was a hilarious like, w- good thing there was mov that's yeah, 10 cool. points for all Ellie's lists. Plus 10 <laughs> points. Pero this is if you... Forge? This is not Keyforge. <laughs> Please don't Player, player nerf. Player nerf. <laughs> pero, pero if you would uh, assign a point to uh, Ellie, Ellie the pilot, how much would you uh, cost Ellie? This is like yeah. uh, those drafting uh, games where you, you have like $5 and then you draft your players and then Ellie's like the $3 player. Ooh. So 3 points for Ellie. For a total of five <laughs> list. <laughs> For uh, uh, Ellie on a fang fighter, maybe fifty. Mm, yeah. Well, he, yeah, he'd be happy to have a fang fighter that's just fifty. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> too cheap. I, I, I think I guess that's uh, just right, fifty. And uh, I'm talking about the waistline, by the way. Uh, <laughs> All right. So before we uh, uh, go, uh, before we get lost uh, tonight, no. So uh, please stay tuned because at the end of this episode, this very exciting episode, we're going to have a raffle. No. So we're going Ooh. to have. Uh, so uh, we have some uh, exciting stuff to give away. Correct, uh, Raymond. Yes. Some um, ama- some exciting prizes. So stay tuned for that, please. At the start of the show. Uh, at the end of the show. All right, so on to our main topic. Wow. (laughs) (laughs) We have leveled up. We now have sound effects. Yes. Coming from my phone. Yay. (laughs) Very, Very high tech. So it's from uh, Raymond's Huawei phone. I'm sure uh, Deng Xiaoping is uh, spying on us right now. Anyway, uh, on to our main episode, the Thinking Scrub- Scrubs Episode 5, Star Wars X-Wing Philippines. No? So this is a primer on the love on the game that we all love here in the Philippines, which is X-Wing. So uh, where shall we start? No. So for all the new players out there, or all the game board enthusiasts out there na hindi pa naririnig uh, kung uh, tungkol saan itong X-Wing this episode is for you so let's start what is X-Wing Ramon X-Wing is a fast-paced miniatures game uh, developed by Fantasy Flight Games it's primarily focused on miniatures uh, based on the different uh, starfighters and starships from the Star Wars universe. Yeah, so if you like Star oh, Wars... Had them. <laughs> oh, right. I'm reading from a script, huh? <laughs> there's, 
we, we didn't just that's not written down huh he came up with that on his own <laughs> i just <laughs> remembered <laughs> i just <laughs> I forgot about I forgot the rest of it after saying half of it. <laughs> uh, so so X Wing miniatures game, right? But it's not mm-hmm. all X Wing. So it contains all other ships uh, from the Star Wars universe. No? So like for example, the Millennium Falcon, uh, the TIE Silencer. Who who pilots the TIE Silencer? Kylo Ren, right? Kylo. From the uh, yeah Kylo Ren from the Kylo. latest uh, uh, series of movies, and who doesn't uh, recognize the new X Wing, the T seventy X Wing? It's from not the my X Wing. Trilogy. <laughs> it's not. I mean, I didn't grow up on the T seventy. <laughs> Don't joke. Sixty five is all the way. T Wing. So, yeah, you know. Ika Ramon, what's your favorite? Star Wars ship. Oh, uh, you, you just mentioned it. I grew up on the A-Wing, actually, the RZ-1 A-Wing. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, I've been older older Return of the Jedi, na Battle of Endor scene, just to see the A-Wings. When did you start liking the A-Wing? When uh, when that guy committed uh, Harakiri in front of the oh, yeah. flagship? Actually. <laughs> really? <laughs> when, when Orville Clinid smashed into the Executor's Bridge and killed yeah. Uh, Admiral Piet and young second in command. Yeah, yep. That was the moment. I was seven years old. It changed my life. <laughs> Down the executor all by himself, man. No? Yeah. How yeah, about you, for Raymond? Some reason when you blow up the uh, bridge, the whole ship goes down. Very practical. <laughs> very very practical. <laughs> very practical. Speaking of which, you no, know, the ship in the middle, the bomber. Resistance bomber. The resistance mm-hmm. bomber, the most fragile ship in the universe. <laughs> so just uh, bump it and it will explode. So but we then... won't be talking most. So we won't be going on what? about what this game is because um, I'm sure you yeah. could research chat. But I think we should be talking about, you know, um, how do we? We're interested in this game, right? And how how do we get into it? Yep. Oh. And it's not just. The miniatures, no, it's not just the starship models. We use them for interstellar combat. Now, this is the part that I like: the strategy, the building of your own, uh, coming up with your own uh, combination of ships, and going head to head against the other player. So uh, I think all of us play the good guys. I play uh, the Republic uh, faction. Raymond, uh, which faction do you play? Rebel. Rebel. Rebels. You rebel. Yes. yes. And Ramon. I, I play terrorists. <laughs> Actually, I think you all play bad guys because Ron plays the dictatorial government that's filled with corruption. And then, uh, of course, uh, R- Raymond plays the old terrorists and I play the new guys. Ooh. And si Ellie, uh, yung mga trabahador lang na ang inato pag lang eh kung ano yung makakain nila sa araw-araw cargo yeah. workers appear na sa sideline they're space pirates di ba? Oh, yeah. who doesn't love a good space pirate <laughs> si Ian si Ian ano nilalaro ni Ian Ian the government good, guys. yeah the government, <laughs> the, government. <laughs> the G-man mga, MM... People... mga MMDA <laughs> yes. so yung mga TIE fighters mga MMDA pala yun well, alright Luigi si Luigi first order <laughs> Uh, yung sila yung HPG sila yung Highway Patrol Group <laughs> Highway Patrol Group uh, ano pa ba mga ano? yung CIS separatist CI. yung mga droid uh, yan yung uh, mga ano uh, Facebook <laughs> mga millennials <laughs> mga millennials mga drone camera yan yung mga Facebook yung mga CIS oh. <laughs> okay so yeah so it's not just about ships it's about combat no You build your own squad. You go head to head and shoot the other guy uh, out of a uh, out of the galaxy, out of the battle map. All right. So that's it. That's the game. So where do we play? No. Oh my God. So lately, we have a lot. We have had Wait. a lot. An explosion of uh... why? Crazy. <laughs> you know, I just realized that last photo, the last slide. 
uh-huh. that guy zippers open. Where? Who zippers that? Oh my god, that's Ellie. Oh, oh okay, I see it now. <laughs> Wow. Well, yeah, remove it and edit it. I was not there. <laughs> hey, Lee's Zipper is open. Ilis ng mata mo, ah. Is that why you were laughing in the picture, Ramon? Sorry, me? I don't know. I don't even think that was in the same timeline. <laughs> Alright, okay. anyway. Uh, where do we play the game? So, for all the players out there. Na kung gusto mong sumubok maglaro ng X-Wing, saan ba tayo usually naglalaro? So, ako, I started uh, playing the game in neutral grounds. So, I saw the game, I saw players playing there, I found the game interesting, and then I tried it, and the rest was history. You know? So, other venues. Lately, the War Room. You no, know? For big tournaments, we, ho- we hold them uh, at the War Room. This is uh, near Green Hills in San Juan. You know? And, of course, uh, Games and Gears, Ramon. Uh, yeah, G- Gears and Games, sorry, uh, to yata. But yeah, Gears and Games in uh, the Savior area. This is actually where I uh, first encountered the local X-Wing community. I used to play at home, pero mamaya na yun kasi home is later. I used to play at home, and then I stopped playing because my brothers weren't really interested. So then when I looked for the local X-Wing, there was a tournament at Gears and Games, G&G. And I went over and I met most of you guys there. I met Ron. I didn't meet Raymond yet. Uh, I met Sila Tim. I even met si ano, si Migs, si Doc Migs. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yun yung... Yeah, I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, I think he's busy, but hopefully he can come back soon. Pero yeah, yeah, you know. I think Migs is uh, busy building uh, his uh, board game park. And I think he's preparing for Anaren for married life. Oh, okay, it makes sense, makes sense. And, yeah. and, and congrats to him. Anyway, for any new players who are interested in dropping by Gears and Games, it's a great place to just chill. Because it, because it's usually where, for example, I hang out when I have free time on the weekends. So there's also a lot of players who can show you the ropes. Sila Ron then drops by, Raymond drops by and sat there sometimes too. I remember when uh, we had the tournament and you and Val dropped by, you know? so you were just watching. That was the then, first third of it, yeah. yeah. And I was glad that uh, you eventually decided to play the game. You know? <laughs> yeah, like, I'm glad too that I decided. It's been a great year of playing X-Wing and um, yeah, uh, just meeting all the new players and you know if you're a new player when you when you meet, for example, Tim, it's always a rite of passage. At least when you play Gears and Games, at some point, you play your first game against him. At least it's been like that for the year that I've been playing at GNG. Tim is one of our competitive uh, players. No? He knows his stuff. And he's also the manager of Gears and Games. And he guest commentated in one of our recent uh, finals. Also, you can catch that on our channel. Yep. Yep. So shout and, out. Oh, go ahead. Go. go ahead. So shout out to Gears and Games. And during the embargo, right, when there were no uh, constant supply of X-Wing in the Philippines, so Gears and Games uh, was there to supply us with our plastic crack addiction. Okay, that didn't sound right. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> baka, baka matok hang dahil dito. But uh, speaking of finals, so in the picture was Ellie. And Ellie is a... Uh, frequent uh, customer of gaming library so one of our uh, ad, uh, distributors and uh, suppliers of uh, no not distributor suppliers of X-Wing up in BGC so they, have they also nice... have it in the other branches FYI <laughs> but yeah so recently we just started uh, having our events at gaming lab uh, casual games and tournaments there just recently they have a yeah. nice place there no so Maluwang yeah. It's comfy, uh, definitely. It's comfy, it's cool. No? So, and the brand parking. Not anymore. Not anymore. Sadly, not anymore. Yeah, no? sad. And our new guys, uh, one of the newer players of X-Wing, uh, BK, is uh, setting up a base at Team Hortons at the circuit in Makati. No? 
So I, I heard that they have a long table at the upper level of Team Hortons, and that's where they hang out and uh, play X Wing. Yep. Na actually, na try na namin na try na namin ni Val magplay there once. Uh, uh, how was the experience? It was alright. The table is very spacious, and I mean, it's Tim Hortons, and you can grab a coffee. Uh, and the the thing the thing was we weren't able to like meet up with BK because at that time we were actually going to meet up with another friend after mm-hmm. just waiting for them to finish an event nearby. Okay. Uh, but playing at Tim Hortons is definitely an option. It's a very casual place, so it's comfortable. So if ever you guys drop by Tim Hortons and maybe meet up with BK and his and his peeps, um, hope uh, hopefully it's a comfy atmosphere. Yep. Aurin, I'm looking forward to uh, playing at Team Hortons one of these days. And last but not the least, of course, sa bahay, no? So kina Ralph, sa amin. So, syempre, Open pinak- invitation ba yan, Ron? <laughs> oh naman! Oh naman! Anytime. <laughs> anytime. Anytime, basta sa bahay ako. So, we can play at home. No? So, uh, we've had a uh, lot of games uh, at uh, Raf in uh, Quezon Ave. No? Uh, not exactly in Quezon Ave. So, <laughs> in a street near Quezon Ave. So, uh, yeah. We play at home. But if you guys uh, want to check us out, no, so check us out in any of these venues. Uh, we usually hold tournaments no? in Gears and Games, Gaming Library, at the War Room for bigger tournaments. And uh, soon, uh, we're going to return to neutral grounds and uh, hold tournaments there, X-Wing tournaments. No? But uh, don't get me wrong, so X-Wing is not just for competitive players. No? So most of the time we we also play uh, casual games. So yeah, you most can... of the time we're playing casual. We only our tournament schedule is usually once uh, a month. Once but a month. The other, yeah, an average. Uh, at the most we've, uh, at the most we've seen now, uh, we've had two competitive events in a month. Uh, yeah. So, ninety percent of the time we're just really playing casual. Right? And sometimes mm-hmm. even our tournaments are casual tournaments, right? So, uh, like the upcoming uh, one in August 31. So, it's a special uh, rule tournament. So, it should be fun. And we'll be discussing that in a future uh, episode. So, watch out for it. All right. So, that's where we play. And that's the game. So, where do we get the stuff? Okay. So, uh, of course, uh, there's Neutral Grounds again. Gaming Library. So, uh, you've seen stuff, X-Wing also, at uh, Hubs and Lands, Raymond? Yep, that's true. They have until Wave 3. They have Complete uh, the Servants of Strife, Guardians of the Republic, Arc 170s, Ether Sprites, you name it. And, of course, Ramon? Oh, sorry. Um... Gears and Kings. Oh, sorry, no one about it. I'm so sorry about that. Earth I lost to Ramon. Yes. Earth uh, to Ramon. Yeah, usually uh, Gears and Games, there's always a stock of uh, different ships. Um, you can always drop by, check out the current stock. Uh, also, there's some at Fortress. So this is in the Sun. Both both the stores are in the Sun One area. Fortress is in Green Hills. Gears and Games is near the Savior School. So if uh, if you don't find what you're looking for in Fortress, you can always drop by at Gears and Games. And then you can also check out Neutral Grounds at Remol. So, so Neutral Grounds, they have a store in uh, Glorietta. Yep. They also have a big store in Centuries and uh, in Green Hills also Vimol. And they also have one in Cash and Carry. Near Cash and Carry, yeah. There's a booming X-wing scene there. Yeah. Cash and Carry. We have some local players who are based, who are more or less home based in CNC. Yep. And yeah, and let's not forget. Uh, in case you don't find what you're looking for, you can also try to reach them online. Gears and Games and Fortress have Facebook groups. Gaming Live has a website. Neutral mm-hmm. Ground also operates by Facebook, if I'm not mistaken. Hobbs and Lands, you just have to call them. Yep, yep. And I also believe Gaming Library also has a service where they can look for a specific uh, game for you. I don't, I'm not sure if that's still active. And but then, then uh, they deliver. 
uh, they basically you can pick it up at their store. Uh, but I remember being able to get Rebel Aces from them in 1.0 through that service back then. Mm. Yes, and also, and there, are, there are also players, right, who are uh, um, giving yeah. away their stuff. Oh yeah, definitely. There's also a boom. In, there's also a healthy secondary market. Yep. Yep. For X-wing stuff, especially for 1.0 stuff that haven't been re-released yet properly, aside from conversion kits. Raymond, sorry, I cut you off. You were about to see something. Yeah, that's ac- actually what I was gonna say. So, oh, sorry. <laughs> since we're going to be discussing that anyway, it's fine, Raymond. All right. Speaking of which, we're waiting for the wave four. Sana dumating na Nabu fighters galore and Go- resistance oh, transport. Man. Yes, golden chrome and transport. But, yeah, but some resist wave four has already arrived in Fortress and Gears and Games, so you can and, check that out as well. Yep, and yes. hopefully soon at uh, Neutral Grounds and Gaming Library. Fingers if, crossed by the end of August and Ito uh, If someone's excited to play FO like a new player, uh, I believe I saw a couple of silencers still in Gears and Games and some hyena bombers. Ooh, the small one. The small uh, silencers. Yeah, the new silencer. And if uh, anyone's interested in the CIS, there's hyena bombers. If I remember last time I was there. All right. So check them out. All right. So moving on. Community events. Woo! Oh, flight of the ages. So, <laughs> so okay, let's start with uh, well, they're not all uh, competitive. I'm looking at the flight of the aces. So we have Ellie, uh, our very own Raymond. And of course, Jojo. So yeah. we had we had, a tur- we had a tournament before to find out who's the best at their own faction, and I just named them. Ellie for Scum. But, yeah, this is an, this is 1.0 though. I don't know if that counts. It doesn't um, count. You could say it's it the turn of the turn of the year. It was about when 2.0 was gonna. It was six months before 2.0 would get released. Yeah. So. I don't know. I, I don't know if I can still hold. Maybe Ellie can definitely because he's still winning tournaments. But mm. what, what you did win uh, a tournament in, at Gaming Live with the one yeah. that you ran? Oh yeah, uh, Ellie's more consistent, definitely. But uh, in the speaking of consistency, when it comes to Imperial Swarms, Jojo, Jojo is the man. The Swarm man, Swarm man, Suman, whatever. Okay. Aside from that, the flight of the uh, Aces, we have uh, the Banta Brawl, organized by none, none other than the Banta Brothers. So, Adri and uh, Mikey. So, uh, we're waiting for the next Banta Brawl installment. Huh? Yeah. The season is technically not over. We, have, we still have points for the ban- for Banta Brawl seasons. <laughs> yep, yep. And not all community events are competitive tournaments. We also have our charity X-Wing tournament. No? So X-Wing for the younglings. So this was organized by uh, Mr. Firesword himself, Rak Galiak. So what was this? Uh, why did we say that it's for the younglings? Uh, well, a, basically, it, this was uh, a benefit for Ra- Ralph favorite charity it was for um for the orphans yes the orphans that's right so raf is uh, supporting or an orphanage in uh i think it's in antipolo if i'm not mistaken and the cool thing with this tournament is instead of paying an entry fee you just bring a donation you know, for the younglings like diet peppers uh, milk, uh, whatever you think uh, will benefit the the kids, even toys, old toys. No? Yep. So we play not just for ourselves, but for others as well. Yep. As long as our wives allow it. All right. <laughs> Moving on. Okay. This is one of the bigger events in uh, the war room. No? The May the Fourth with you tournament. When did we do this? Uh, May 5th, the joke. <laughs> <May 5th. laughs> All right. So, uh, if you can see, you know, so uh, our, the, the players here, of course, we have the usual guys, Ellie, uh, Ramon, Raymond. But I would like to highlight Tiffy, Tiffy, yes. and Ram. You know? So, we have a father and son uh, member of the community. So, 
there's a bunch of brothers, the Borja brothers, and uh, Janelle and Mika. No? So we're a growing uh, community of uh, X-Wing players trying to have fun during the weekends. What were your uh, uh, memorable moments for this, uh, Raymond? You were the tournament organizer for this tournament, right? Yep, definitely. Um... Oh, well, I didn't realize there were so many questions, <laughs> but no, it's fine. Um, basically, yeah, everyone was super compet, uh, was super fun, having so, so much fun. They, they could hear all the reactions, all the sounds from people as they played, and it was a nice atmosphere overall. Yeah. So, uh, looking forward to our next big event at the War Room. All right. So, but uh, not only uh, big events at the war rooms, as mentioned earlier, uh, we also have uh, uh, store events from Gears and Games, and this one from a uh, gaming library. You no, know? and not all the games are uh, big ones. We are, are, are uh, done in one sitting. We also have the league. You no, know? so it stretches what two months, three months. The last one stretched from early April, uh, around the start of second week of April, all the way up until end of May, and the finals were held a month later, <laughs> around three months. A lot three months, and it was just concluded recently. So yep. with uh, our Ellie, Ellie Bitong, emerging once again as the league champion. He was also the champion for the league season one, right? For, for the first season, yes. He was for the first season, all right. So, but now think, that the... I, we should no. probably get Ellie a belt. <laughs> a belt? That's uh, <laughs> going to be a very, very big belt. Yeah. So, speak, speaking of the belts, so uh, season three upcoming, we're going to tackle that in a future episode. But uh, I'm excited about it because we're going to uh, introduce something new into the league rules. Right? Okay. All right. So. X-Wing is not only popular locally, it's internationally renowned. Raymond, can you talk about this? Well, um, hmm. one of the most popular podcasts around, Gold Squad- Squadron Podcasts, we like to talk about, about them a lot. We also like to watch official um, show, uh, official games streamed by Fantasy Flight. You could also check them out on FFG Live on YouTube and on Twitch in case you want to know what's happening on the international level as well. But for a local level, of course, check out the channel that you're hopefully listening to right now. It's the mm-hmm. Thinking Scrubs YouTube channel, which hopefully we're trying to break into as well. Yep. There are a lot of uh, games you know, if you want to learn about uh, the game. Or uh, if you are an experienced player and you want to hone your skills, you can watch uh, the season the players uh, their games uh, in YouTube and in Twitch. No? So I think uh, there's an upcoming World Championship, right? When is it? In October, if I'm not mistaken. No, sometime in October. Yep, and, sometime, uh, sometime uh, third, late third or early fourth quarter. October or November. No? So. Do you see yourself someday playing there? Who knows? We might reach that stage soon. Sooner soon. than you think. Hopefully soon. No? Yeah. Speaking of which, let's talk about the future. So, ano bang in store sa atin in the oh, near future? The Imperial Raider. Such a sexy shit. <laughs> Traitor! So, uh... So imperial ka na yon. Ayaw mo oh, I, I, can, I can always appreciate a good-looking ship. <laughs> I, I kind of wish they had a rebel version of that because you know, Inferno Squadron they switched. Oh yeah, yes, they hijacked it. Yeah. They hijacked it. Oops, spoilers. <laughs> if you, in case you haven't watched, uh, haven't played Star Wars Battlefront Two, that's a plot. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ah, Inferno Squadron. Yeah. So, anyway. So if you're a fan of uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2, the storyline, you should definitely play X-Wing because the Inferno Squadron's all there. And they're a solid squad. They're a pretty solid squad right now. So epic battles, aside from that, more ships coming in with Wave 5. No? 
So, who doesn't recognize the ghost and the Millennium Falcon? Well, probably 95% of the world's population. But for those uh, Star Wars enthusiasts, no, the ghost, Hera Syndulla, Rebels animated series. And, and also, speaking of animated series, you could also see like the Re- uh, Clone Wars version of the Y-Wing there too as well. So if you're a fan of Clone Wars, the TV show, you'll see those as well. So ganun pala itsura ng Y-Wing bago siya nahubaran. Yes. Para siyang nakapants, ano? Parang yun yung na-imagine ko, nakapants. The MC Hammer of the Star Wars ships. It looks like one of those old super robot ships where it'll turn into the legs of a robot. <laughs> <laughs> yung parang uh, cheap na transformer na toy na pagka tinayo mo lang, robot na kasi nasa ilalim yung muka, kamay. Like Pwede. So, so, anong lore? Ano nangyari? Bakit nawala yung armor plating ng Y-Wing? Uh, do you want the Legends explanation or do you want the Canon explanation? The Canon. Okay, uh, for the canon explanation, they were being mothballed already, so the, the armor was off. Ah, so they were scrapped for junk. Mm, but they were rescued by Rebel Alliance from being ah, scrapped. Okay. So yeah, talaga, in uh, case, in, that's also an episode of Rebels wherein they got these ships before they were to be scrapped. Yes. Basically. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Nice. That's nice to know. Thanks for sharing. Cool. <laughs> Moving well, on. Yeah, definitely. If you're a fan of Star Wars, you will see a lot of lore in these games. They really yeah. try to utilize all the lore that they have from the TV shows, movies, into these games. Yeah, speaking of which, no. So, hindi lahat ng players natin or uh, X-wing players are there to play. Some are to collect the ships. Some are to uh, talk about the lore. No, if they want to, like. Uh, relieve the battle so that basically to compete in a tournament no? so everyone is welcome so there's a place for you if you yeah. like star wars everyone has their own reasons to play x-wing and um, just uh, knowing the community just gives you the opportunity to play it with someone else uh, not just uh, with more than just uh, you yourself uh, if you're playing solitaire or maybe your siblings if you're playing at home or just your circle of friends. So it's a great chance to expand your circle of friends, meet new people, and also see people fly ships differently from you. It's always an exciting experience. Yep. And at the end of the day, if uh, uh, you can't play anymore, if you're like uh, busy for work or uh, real life, at least you have very awesome looking ships. <laughs> yeah, true. To display, all right. So. What's uh, that other thing uh, in the near future? Hopefully, it's not very far behind. Yep. If you're listening to this right now and you're thinking of joining, join the community and we can build this community and we can be part of the hyperspace trials. We can compete on an international level. The winner of this hyperspace trial gets a free invite to the world championships. So I think the first placer will even get a uh, is that a plane ticket and uh, accommodations if I'm not mistaken. So it's that serious. I mean, they're 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 building up the the competition part, the organized play part, and they're giving away awesome uh, prizes. So hopefully it's uh, not far behind or or not uh, too far into the future. We'll have this uh, in our. Uh, local uh, game stores. All right. So, if you want to get into X-wing, or if you want to uh, learn more about the game, or if you just, or or if you just want to uh, be better at flying your Tie Fighters and your Tie Phantoms and your X-wings, or you just want to watch other people play it, you know, you could also. Or yeah. maybe just talk about lore, That's canon, true. or legends. Yeah, or just gush about the ships. You know, like, this looks awesome. Just, yep. yeah, appreciate so, what they look like. So, hi to Kayo, uh, by the way, owner of uh, Honeycomb. 
So hopefully we'll, we'll get to play uh, X-Wing again at their place. Very nice place. No? So what shall we do? Just join us. We have a uh, Facebook site, X-Wing Miniatures Game Philippines. No? So uh, just answer uh, some basic questions about Star Wars and uh, say hi. And uh, we're there. Gustahin namin kayo. Turuan namin kayo maglaro ng X-Wing. And we'll invite you over for our games. Siyempre, unang tanong namin, uh, open-minded ka ba? So, sa- sana hindi kayo ma-turn off. Pwede ba natin tanggalin yun? Pwede ba natin tanggalin yun? Were pa na, were pa. Na late na eh. Oh, it's late. So, what else about this? So, yeah, definitely join the the Facebook page check out our photos our events that's if anything's happening in the community it's probably going to be posted there so that's your um, ultimate source for everything that's going on X-Wing in the Philippines yep X-Wing miniatures game Philippines check us out on Facebook yep and a also... link will be in the description after this uh, when you uh, by the time you're watching this I'm guessing yes yep And of course, uh, I don't think we have a, a banner here. Uh, pagka naliligaw kayo sa YouTube, search us. Thinking Scrubs. Thinking Scrubs. Yes, we're also an alternative source of information of X-Wing in the Philippines. And you can watch us, uh, our games and stuff also. All right. Any uh, final words, Ramon, before we close our main topic for today? Me, um, I'm hoping that uh, this episode was an informative uh, piece for anyone who's interested in jumping in and looking for people to play with. And also, uh, uh, don't be afraid to try out the game. There's always definitely people that you can find to play with locally. All right. Well said. So that's it. On to our next topic. And this is the more exciting part of the show. We're gonna talk about raffles. So how's going? How's our raffle mechanic gonna work? So basically, we have three tiers of prizes, depending on how many subscribers we get added to the YouTube channel. So currently, we're standing at around 18, 19. So. At the end of uh, at this month, and August 1, we'll be drawing, we'll be drawing a winner, and the number of prizes we have will be based on the number of subscribers subscribers that we have gained during that period. So if we have 10 new subscribers, we'll be raffling off three new engine upgrade alt art cards. But if we reach 20, we'll be adding in also a set of acrylic tokens. And if we reach 30, then we'll also toss in a maneuver dial of your choice of the winner's choice so what do you need to do first you just need to subscribe to our channel like our video and leave a comment so you, you can't um, if you're already a subscriber just like our video and leave a comment and that should and that would include you in the raffle already okay so yeah you can like as many of our videos as you want and leave us a comment on any of those but still just we're still gonna count that those as one though <laughs> sorry for that <laughs> okay so i guess that's it you guys want to add in anything for the raffle part are we are we allowed to join the raffle no no, no. okay well, oh, uh <laughs> sorry just to clarify uh the new subscribers uh should they be locals because if there's going to be a raffle ah uh, a- yes Uh, sorry if we have international um, and listeners. Uh, we're, we apologize for right now, but we hope you still subscribe and like our videos. Though we cannot provide you uh, the raffle prizes because we have no means to ship them to you as of this moment. But hopefully yep. in the future, when we uh, gain more support, we'll be able to do that. Maybe soon. Maybe hopefully. soon. Hopefully. Yes. Alright, so I guess that's it for our uh, episode 
This is the Thinking Scrubs. I'm Ron. I'm Raymond. And I'm Ramon. Bye. 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 Bye.